Hello, Ubiquity fans. I'm Kevin Arepa, and this is my SANS 3 Minutes Max. In the last episode, we showed you how the registry write blocking failed. I mean, it didn't really fail, but it failed. Like, the average user in the average setup can't write to whatever they connect. It's write blocked. So if you're connecting a USB uh, hard drive or something to a USB and using the registry write blocker to write block the USB, you think you're getting a write blocked image. And it would seem that way, and we couldn't write to the USB stick in the normal way. Let's try something different. I'm going to plug in this Samsung T5. Let's see what happens. So we plug it in and it appears. All right. Now, just to be clear, here's our first one. Remember that USB stick. I'm just going to prove that it is still write blocked. I still can't save to it. And you know that I plugged in that T5 drive is right here. Can I create something on here? Look, the new button is available. Wait a minute. It's not actually going to save that, is it? It does. Look at this. There, this is a thumb drive. No new option. This is the Samsung drive. There's a new option. Why? How can that be? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. These two devices are not the same. Even though they're both USB, they are not the same. It is all to do with how the computer recognizes a USB device. We already know that in enterprises that have security such that you can't plug in a personal USB device, somehow the keyboard and the mouse still work and they're USB. How is that? Well, they are human interface devices. They are not considered USB devices. They're not coded that way. Internally, this device is set up so that Windows recognizes it as a removable device. That's why we can pseudo write block it with a registry write blocker. This is not recognized as a removable device, even though it is. It's recognized as a fixed disk, which is what allows it to perform a number of functions that this cannot, uh, speed being one of them. So you see, even though they seem to be the same, they are not the same. And that's why we always have to test our tools. In the next episode, we're going to look at some different write blockers we could potentially use. Uh, well, one in particular, a software write blocker that will give us the write blocking capability we need at the software level. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.